Uh, hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, so if it is your first time here, hit that like and subscribe button right here, cause uh, I'm the BMW guy, but I do the videos uh, uh, on all kind of different topics. And on this one over here, I'm gonna be talking about the, uh, your EPC light and how you can save uh, thousands of dollars uh, by taking this route and fixing this light without taking your car to the dealer. So again, uh, that's what I'm gonna be explaining here in this video over here. Now, if you're looking uh, at this picture over here, you probably know that your EPC light is on and you're probably looking uh, what are your options and how to fix it. Uh, uh, before I get into it, uh, I just wanna let you know that the last thing you wanna do, you wanna take your car to the dealership where they will nail you for a $120 diagnosis fee. And then they will upsell you on the labor as well as the parts in order to uh, fix this problem. And it's gonna be a lot of money and it's gonna be expensive. So this is, this is how I would approach it if I were you. And most likely your car is out of warranty and that's why you're looking at some of the solutions how to fix this. Now, now what you're gonna do over here, uh, here in Canada, where I am, we have many uh, uh, parts stores. Basically, they sell the Volkswagen parts and whatnot. A lot of these guys, uh, when you show up at their store, uh, they allow you, they have an option to scan your car for free. And what's going to happen uh, when your uh, EPC sensor light comes on? Uh, what, what I've been finding out that quite often... Uh, the, your card will uh, throw uh, the uh, P2119 code. And what's happening with uh, with this EPC light on, it will tell you that your uh, throttle body is failing uh, prematurely. So in uh, nine out of 10 cases over here, uh, the throttle body is uh, failing on you. And that's something that you have to replace, but you gotta find the most efficient way. And, uh, that's what I'm gonna get you in. So here it was gonna happen. You're gonna get your car to someone, so the, the, the parts store, that can scan the vehicle and pop the code. And once you are uh, troubleshooting your vehicle and you narrow down that it's the throttle body, like over here, then you're gonna come down and uh, search for the uh, parts available. And this is how your throttle body looks like over here. So you're gonna uh, be able to uh, narrow down what part you want and uh, how to get the part here, which in this case is the throttle body for the cheapest possible price. And I'm gonna just show you some uh, quotes here on Amazon. Now, before I go any further over here, uh, I should also let you know upfront that the dealer has a very, very high markup on these parts. So in, in, uh, in some cases, when you uh, show up at the dealer uh, uh, counter, this particular one, they're gonna try to sell you this for about uh, uh, three or 400, and then they're gonna uh, tell you that you gotta pay another three, four hours of labor uh, to install this uh, part in your vehicle. Now, if you look over here, uh, some of them can be had on Amazon. Uh, it's up to you uh, to uh, source one uh, that's from Volkswagen. You can also go on, on ebay.com and also get one and uh, replace it. Now, I just wanted to let you know, if I was you, uh, in order to avoid the trouble, uh, what you want to do, you want to get the whole, this, you want to buy the whole part. Because in some cases, your sensor may be going, but the, the Audi and Volkswagen uh, make things so complicated that in, in, in many cases, it's just better to buy the whole unit. Your whole unit... And that's how you can uh, replace it instead of uh, troubleshooting this part, which will cause you more headache. So you want to basically get the whole part, which will come a lot cheaper rather than buying the part separately and then uh, get it done. And that's one of the things that I would recommend. So uh, that's what I would do. I just want to let you over here. This is how the genuine, uh, just to back up my story, I'm going to just go over here. And this is what the genuine... Uh, Volkswagen uh, 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 trial body looks like. I'm trying to zoom in here. This look, looks here. $523 right there. So that's pretty expensive if you, if you ask me. 
Okay, now let's come back to the second part of the problem and see how you can actually do the, the install and completely uh, fix the problem. Now, you're here at the uh, engine bay of your vehicle over here. Now, uh, I'm pretty savvy because I work on the bikes, but you want to have a, have a look down there and see if you can handle uh, by yourself and just replace the four buttons uh, on, your throttle, on your throttle body and look at it. And uh, if not, what you can do, you can research down and uh, find a reputable uh, uh, shop that will replace your uh, throttle body with your parts uh, on it for a really reasonable price rather than going to the dealer. And, and this is basically uh, how that uh, part looks like right at your engine bay. Uh, you want to really come down and see... Uh, from the from getting that triggered EPC light on, uh, how you can source the part for cheap, uh, getting you uh, with some with some tools to put the throttle body there, and then test drive the car and see if it really solved the problem. Because even if that in that scenario you're gonna just lose the money, which I showed you fifty dollars on your throttle body, whereas the dealer will charge you upfront uh, one twenty dollars just to run the diagnosis fee. So you see what I'm coming from. Even if you buy the part and it doesn't work out, you can return it and you won't lose that $120 upfront diagnosis fee. So let's get back to the thing and then when you get the part, this is what you basically have to do. You have to get you or someone to install or replace the throttle body, uh, which will save you quite a bit of money. Because if you narrow down the costs, uh, the dealer will nail you for uh, $120 diagnosis fee. Then there's going to be uh, upselling on the part. Like I showed you down at the bottom, uh, 500 and something. Then they're going to nail you on the labor. So you're easy looking at uh, well over $1,000 to get this done at the dealer. And I, and I, and I think if you pay the um, attention to my video and carefully looked at all the steps, this will be the most uh, efficient way how to fix this problem without selling a thousand bucks at the dealer. And there you go. I hope you found this useful. Uh, usually I do the videos on the BMWs and on the bikes, but this EPC light tends to be uh, the main problem with Audis and Volkswagens, and I wanted to cover it in my, in my video. Hope you found it useful. Like, subscribe, and take care. Bye-bye.